So, home cooks, the hot air trapped in your tagine vessels is still circulating. So to make sure that all your tagines stop cooking at exactly the same time, we're going to release that steam. Chef Claudio lifts up my tagine lid, and this incredible aroma comes my way. Wow, that smells really good. I'm getting a nice, earthy cinnamon aroma. I'm feeling confident at this point. So tell me what vegetables you have in here. Some pumpkin, carrots, celery, chickpeas, zucchini. Miranda, you really captured the essence of a tagine. That tells me that you have intuition. You understand flavors. You understand how to work with heat. You understand when something's too sweet, too sour, which is a very powerful tool to have as a professional chef. Incredible. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I know I'm going home. You know you're going home? Yeah. Why? Because you have to be perfect in a pressure test, and I wasn't. I saw Aaron's, it looked beautiful. Miranda had rave reviews, so. No one has to be perfect in a pressure test. You just cannot be the worst. Do you think you are the worst? Yes. That's not the right attitude. You lack confidence. And Taya is getting a little boring. You do deserve to be here. Don't give up. Tell ya, vegetables may be slightly undercooked, but it's rich and tasty. Spices are there to make things exciting. A little bit more, and that would make this better. Thank you, Chef. Hey there, Aaron. Hello, Chef. Taking a look at your tagine, I like the size of which it's cut, so you can identify the vegetables that you've used. Give it a little taste there, huh? Yes, Chef. Was that the taste profile that you were looking for? I was looking for it to be slightly sweeter. If the clove has gotten a little more pronounced than I would have preferred it to be. It definitely has positive notes of Morocco. I like the choice of your vegetables. I think the harissa is good. I find that some of the spices, particularly the clove, gives a bitter aftertaste. It's a borderline unpleasant. Sometimes, Aaron, I think you've got to cook slightly simpler, slow things down. Do you think you can do that? Absolutely, Chef. I hope you have the chance to show us more. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. I just let my dream slip between my fingers. This was a really tough decision for us. We have said this many times. You're only as good as your last dish. And tonight, the worst tagine was made by... Aaron. Holy smokes. Aaron, you have the heart and soul of a chef, and all you lack is experience. And that's something that I'd love to give to you. Oliver and Bonaccini are opening up a new restaurant in Montreal next year. And it would be my honor to offer you a job in that kitchen. I would love to pursue your offer, chef. Well, come on up here and let's shake on it. MasterChef Canada has been a chance for me to reclaim my passion. You don't know how much you could do until you accept being pushed outside of your comfort zone. Two and two, chef. Service, please. Nice looking plates here, Aaron. Thank you, chef. I feel alive. 
Chef Michael told me that I belong in a kitchen. Love you, man. And that's all I needed to hear.